Freezing Sentai Gelato 5 team leader Fudu Akawa, also known as Red Gelato, enjoys a date with his girlfriend supervillain Desumi Magahara, while his teammates fight her minions. However, when Blue Gelato finds them, Fudu and Desumi immediately engage in combat. When Blue leaves, they return to their romance. Fudu reminisces about how this happened. A week earlier, gel the Gelato 5 consisting of Fudu, Haru Arasagawa, Pink, Hayato Ojino, Blue, Misaki Jinjugi, Yellow, and Daigo Todoroki, Green, learned of a new villainess known as the Reaper Princess, a member of the villainous organization Secret Society Gecko. They later defeated Gecko member Culver and Bear and his army. During that fight, Fudo faced Desumi by himself, where he was smitten by her. Back at headquarters, Fudo revealed to Big Professor Gelato that he fell in love, with the latter encouraging him to express his feelings right away. Fudo took his advice literally when he summoned Desumi to an abandoned warehouse. Assuming this was a trick, Desumi attacked him, but was won over when she realized how serious Fudo was. Back in the present, they swear to keep their secrets safe as they are forced to fight again when Yellow arrives. Gecko members, including Desumi, fight with the Gelato 5 in a shipyard. Desumi and Fudu break away from the fight to take a picture together. However, when Yellow arrives, Desume feigns defeat. While she's on the ground, she overhears Fudo being interviewed by a news team about his romantic life. Once Yellow and the news teams leave, Desume asks Fudo to take her on a proper date. While a nervous Fudo is doing research on date activities, a drunk Jingugi arrives and tells him to do things they can both enjoy. The next day, he takes Desume to a gym. After Desume excuses herself, Jingugi calls Fudo, telling him to disregard her drunken advice. Distraught, he believes that he has disappointed Desume and goes to look for her. Once they reunite, Desume assures him that she is happy just being with him. Delighted, they nearly kiss before they are called back into action. Sometime later, Helko, Desume's cat, reflects on how lonely Desume was prior to her relationship with Fudo. While she accepts Fudo's role in Desumi's newfound happiness, Helko swears to make Fudo pay if he does something to harm Desumi. Following weeks of inactivity from Gecko, Fudo severely misses Desumi. As such, he immediately takes on a suicide mission to infiltrate Gecko's base, leaving Big Gelato and Jingugi concerned for him. Desumi, similarly lonely, finds him an event in Gecko's base and happily plays card games with him. However, they are nearly discovered by Culver and Bear, having to hide in a small locker. Fudo accidentally discomforts Sesame, who punches him out of the locker in embarrassment. He slams into Culver and Bear, activating his new weapons, which explode violently and destroy the base, leading Jingugi and Big Jalal to think Fudo accomplished his mission. The next day, Gecko Supreme Leader Bolslar meets with Desumi and the other villains. Revealing their plan of stealing people's negative emotions and turning them into monsters is coming to fruition. Desumi proposes an amusement park as a desirable place to attack and meets with Fudo there. A fight breaks out and while the Gelato 5 deal with the Gecko's army, Fudo and Desumi enjoy some time together on the rides. As the Gelato 5 leave, Arasugawa discovers a picture taken of a roller coaster in which Fudo appears beside a girl. Outside their activities, Desumi and Fudo are normal students. Desumi sees Fudo and Arasugawa in a cafe and runs away upset. Arasugawa wanted to talk about the picture, but is convinced that Fudo is not dating anyone. They are even called into the action, where Desumi roughly fights with Fudo. Taking him aside, she admits that while she knows that he was not cheating on her, she still felt jealous. As such, Fudo reassures her. They are surprised by Arasugawa, who reveals she overheard the whole conversation. The next day, Arasugawa informs the Gelato 5 of her and Fudo's upcoming school exams, much to his surprise. That night, Arasugawa challenges Desumi to a fight, but is quickly defeated. She wakes up in Desumi's lap, where she questions why she did not expose them. Arasugawa reveals that she joined the Gelato 5 due to her love for Fudo, and was inspired in the past by Desume, who defended her from bullies at school. As she cares deeply for both, she did not want to ruin their happiness. They tearfully embrace, and while walking back, Arasugawa jokingly warns Desumi that she will take Fudo for herself if she is not careful. Following a meeting with Boslar, fellow villain Steel Princess reveals to Desumi that despite her unappealing demeanor, she has fallen in love. Desumi immediately agrees to help, and alongside a reluctant Beast Princess, attempts to teach Steel about femininity. 
However, their attempt goes awry, only making Steel even less confident in herself. After telling Fudo about the situation, he advises Destiny to help Steel to accept herself as she is. Destiny and Beast enter Steel's dressing room, where after dodging her anguish-driven attacks, Destiny manages to tell Steel to be herself and accept her feelings. Crying, Steel takes her armor off and gathers the courage to confess her feelings to Culverin, Bear. Sometime later, Arasugawa helps keep Destiny and Fudo hidden during a fight against Gecko. After Arasugawa leaves, Destiny attempts to feed lunch to Fudo, but he suffers from a sudden appendicitis. In the hospital, Destiny visits Fudo and finally manages to feed him, much to his delight. However, before they can kiss, Fudo's mother appears and takes Destiny away for a volleyball match. After the game, Fudo's mother shows Destiny his baby pictures and asks her to take care of him. Bossler announces that Destiny has been chosen for a promotion, which involves her being fused with a gorilla. While she receives support, Destiny doubts if she wants to do it. That night, she receives a call from her family as her father explains that her promotion has made them all proud. Her normally shy little sister, Yurami, tells Destiny that she sees her as her idol and wishes to join Gecko someday. She reunites with Fudo, who tells her to follow her, her feelings. The next day, Destiny turns down the promotion, much to Bossler's delight. Sometime later, Gecko is at the beach after Fudo told Destiny they would be testing a new robot there. Gelato's 5's new submarine arrives for a test drive, so Destiny reunites with Fudo, Beast hiding behind a rock, mistakes Fudo and Destiny's activities as torture. That night, Destiny joins the Gelato 5 for dinner, where Jingugi thanks Destiny for making Fudo a better man. They watch the fireworks and burn sparklers, while Beast mistakes an explosion inadvertently caused by Big Gelato as Destiny's doing. On the train ride back, Daigo analyzes a picture of Destiny and Fudo closely. Daigo collapses when he hears Destiny's name. When asked about it, Daigo tells Fudo about their past. Ten years prior, Daigo was a pupil in Karate Academy, until Destiny arrived one day, where he discovered how absurdly powerful she truly was. Sometime later, Daigo's master closed the academy after Destiny defeated him. Daigo then offered to train her, however, despite Destiny's respect for him, he had to train hard just to remain alive. Daigo requested one final battle after Destiny reached adolescence. After she defeated him, he left her. Back in the present, Daigo expresses his desire to enlist Destiny into the Gelato 5. During an adding, Fudo presents Destiny to Daigo. While she is happy to see Daigo again, she declines his offer. Seeing how Desumi acts with Fudo, Daigo believes love has made her weak and challenges her once again. He tells her that she will leave Fudo and join the Gelato 5 if he wins, prompting Desumi to beat him instantly. Walking home, Desumi feels uncomfortable that the Gelato 5 already knows of their romance and advises Fudo to keep their guard up. Unbeknownst to them, a mysterious girl captures them on camera. Fudo receives a picture of him and Desumi. Meanwhile, at school, Destiny is teased by a girl named Hojo. That night, Fudo meets with the mysterious sender of the picture, who turns out to be Hojo. She threatens to blackmail him if he does not break up with Destiny. Hojo then attempts to have him kiss her hand, but she runs away out of embarrassment. Once Asumi is informed of the situation, she reaches the conclusion that the girl loves Fudo. The next day, he kindly rejects Hojo, but she reveals she is actually in love with Destiny. After Hojo explains how she and Destiny first met, Fudo commends her for her taste. Hojo leaves as it is, revealed she is actually the masked heat princess. Sometime later, Fudo agrees to tutor Arasagawa, and Destiny tags along. They study in Destiny's room, but they only succeed in confusing her with the unusual methods. After Arasugawa leaves, Fudo reveals to Destiny that he intends to become a teacher. As such, she states her desire to study with him, wanting to be a witness to his journey. Their moment is interrupted by the arrival of Destiny's father. Destiny's father, a former Gecko soldier, chastises her for declining her promotion. When Fudo comes to her defense, he is silenced by Yurami. Destiny's father tells her that she must devote herself to Gecko after she finishes high school, but Fudo tells her that she desires to go to university. Fudo gets Destiny's father's approval after he commends his skill to be defeated spectacularly. He then leaves, agreeing to postpone the matter. Sometime later, Yurami remembers the moment she began admiring Destiny. Destiny tours Yurami around Gecko he headquarters, but the latter is disheartened when Desumi is nice with her co-workers. 
During a shopping trip, a disappointed Yurami leaves Destiny in a corner. She remembers how much her family told her about Destiny's success as a member of Gecko when she was little, and how she finally came out of her room when she heard of Destiny's promotion, expressing her desire to be like her. Back in the present, Yurami is approached by some thugs, but Destiny deals with them. Destiny tells Yurami to find love, explaining that it is needed to become stronger. Yurami finally accepts who Destiny is now, but continues to disapprove of Fudo. Desumi briefs Fudo about her high school's current cultural festival, including an event called the Coca Tea Moon, which is said to create lifelong couples out of people who have their picture taken on it. As such, they resolve to go together. Fudo attends the festival, but is quickly recognized and swarmed by students while carrying Ojini on his shoulders. Meanwhile, Desumi is constantly harassed by Hojo, all while Beast is patrolling the school. Desumi and Fudo manage to meet in a haunted house, but their moment is quickly ruined by Beast. Once the Coco Team Moon is unveiled, Desumi and Fudo rush to its location. Desumi finally manages to get rid of Hojo when she sets her up to fight with the Blood Princess. She then reunites with Fudo, who is left alone when Ojino chases after Beast. With only five minutes left, they begin losing hope. However, when they see Steel was fooled by a student wearing a costume similar to Culver and Bear, they switch to into their respective outfits, and people confuse them as cosplayers. As such, they succeed in having their picture taken, promising to live to see their relationship be accepted by everyone. The Quiet Judgment Princess always tries to avoid social interactions. As such, Destiny tricks her into attending a sleepover with the other princesses in her room. They eat takiyoki, watch movies, and mess around. They then talk about romance and Judgment asks about what love is. She then teases Destiny, which she detects that she is in love. That night, Destiny thanks Judgment for coming and she admits she had a good time. Sometime later, Destiny and Fudo hang out in a snowy refuge and Fudo tells her of a book signing event for his new book. However, she catches a cold and is cared for by the Blood Princess. Beast then rushes to save her as she tells Steel how Blood brainwashes her patients into acting as babies. They find Destiny dressed as one, and they are both captured when they try to save her. When Fudo infiltrates the school, he finds Destiny in this state. Embarrassed, he reads her book, which then snaps her back to normal. He tearily tells her that nobody came to his event, so Destiny excitedly receives his first autograph. Meanwhile, Blood holds Beast and Steel hostage, treating them as babies as well. Fudo tells Destiny that he has been hired to appear in a wedding commercial, which includes a cake-cutting scene with a famous idol. When she tells him that he cannot accept this role, he accuses her of being selfish. When she leaves, Arasagawa makes Fudo understand the pain Destiny is feeling. Elsewhere, Boss Lars showcases the ultimate phantom, a monster created from negative energy. The phantom turns out to be too strong as it absorbs the power of those it consumes. After it's, it escapes, the phantom attacks the shoot, and while Fudo gets everyone to safety, a cake he made for Destiny is destroyed. The rest of Gelato 5, Beast, and Steel then try to fight the phantom to no avail. Big Gelato explains to Fudo that the only way to defeat the phantom is by combining the Gelato 5 weapons into one sword, the Gelato Claymore. When Destiny arrives, she finds Fudo's cake. Destiny then helps him hold the Claymore together they manage to slice the phantom. Afterwards, the phantom is reduced to a baby and Destiny attacks Fudo again to keep their ruse going when they are interviewed, promising to see each other again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let us know by leaving a like. Subscribe for more stories and check out other stories here.